Hello friends. Just wanted to check in with you today. I was going to try to do a Facebook Live earlier and I decided to do this where I could edit it a little bit better and you could get the full screen. But yeah, I had an interesting weekend. I celebrated a Juneteenth with some uh, friends at the, um, and actually fellow teammates at Bentley's at the CMSA uh, Crawfish Fundraiser and had a great time there. Had a lot of people come out, was able to set up the insurance booth and, and meet a lot of people, make some uh, connections with folks. And uh, that, that part was really a lot of fun. And then, uh, you know, we had uh, Sunday, we had a great day uh, in church, uh, people were not wanting to leave. I mean, we, we were just, I mean, it was, it was a wonderful spirit. People were just loving one another and they weren't in a hurry to run off and go eat somewhere. They were happy to serve the Lord, happy to, uh, to hang out with one another. It was really an awesome time that I, I had a great training, uh, today with, uh, my insurance training and, uh, learned, you know, some more things about marketing myself and helping to find my niche and a lot of that was very helpful. And uh, that's one of the things I'm committed about doing. I have some specific goals for my uh, insurance business. And one of those is to uh, be the uh, church uh, insurance man for the state of Texas. Uh, I want, my goal is to reach out to every association, uh, every church that I can in this state and uh, let them know what I'm doing and what I'm available to do and how I'm able to help them with their church insurance policies as well as for the really also for everyone you know with i do a uh, property and casualty insurance and as you know but i'm also um uh, in the process of bettering myself i'm getting ready to pursue my health and uh, life insurance license so uh, life is all about getting better life is all about improving yourself so i want you to know, you can trust me to do that i'm not just sitting back you know taking it easy in life uh, I've even taken on a, a third job right now uh, to sort of stabilize my income while we're building the uh, insurance business. And one of the things that's doing is it's allowing me to take more risk and take more chances in the insurance business and, uh, and not just play it safe because many business leaders and even church leaders uh, want to play it safe sometimes and not take risk. And it's okay to take a risk. I was, uh, uh, when Bill Gaither is one of my uh, musical heroes in gospel music. And one of the things I love about Bill is that Bill sees the potential in others and gets it out of them. I know in church ministry, I've had times that I saw people growing. Uh, they were caring about others. They were burdened about other people. Their heart was, was heavy uh, for others. And, and they really wanted to see some good things happen. And, uh, I just want to share that with church leaders or other people because maybe those individuals I was talking about, uh, they had a few quirks. They, well, they could be a little strange in some areas. And when I would share the good things those people were doing, the response I would get would be, that's nice, whatever. It'd break my heart because uh, I'm seeing things in my little church right now where I'm pastoring. We've uh, doubled and almost tripled in size. Uh, we, we had a very low beginning, but we're, we're moving up now. And uh, we're utilizing some people that ever, some people have passed over, but we're seeing people who are caring, who are committed, who are passionate. And in your business, I would tell you that, you know, there's some things you can train out of or train into some people, but you can't train passion into people. You can't train compassion and love and, and care into people. And if you've got somebody that has those qualities, you can train the other stuff in them. But if they don't have that, they can have a slick presentation. They can be smooth in every way, but they're probably going to let you down. And so I just uh, just want to challenge here all of my pastor friends, all of my business friends to, uh, to better yourself, to improve your skills uh, as I'm doing with uh, insurance training and with uh, even in music. I'm constantly learning new things. I I'm getting ready to I'm actually collaborating with a friend in San Antonio. We're getting ready to work on a Christian hip hop song. He's going to take one of my songs and going to write some hip hop lyrics, about 16 bars into it. And we're going to put a hip hop song down. And you say, well, you old man, why do you want to do that? Because I can. Okay, I'm not dead yet. And as long as I'm alive, I'm going to live. And I said, I challenge you to live. Go for it. So. Hey, think about me as you, uh, again, whatever you need. If you need a, a church 
and you need a pastor and you need a, a church family, I'm training our people to love others, to realize that we're broken people that need Jesus. And uh, we're here to minister to the those who are broken, who are hurting, who uh, none of us think we've arrived yet. We think we've still got a lot of growth to do. And I know when I'm 100 years old, I'll still be needing to grow more and become more like Christ. When it comes to my business, insurance, and uh, even some of the internet technology stuff I do, I'm still growing, I'm still learning, and that's what I'm all about. And I challenge you to be all about that. So I really could keep on talking forever, and it's time for me to shut it down. But y'all have a good night. Take care. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.